show. If you haven't seen it before, uh, we take actors. These actors have memorized scripts like they would for any play, a play they might see at the alley or at stages theater. They memorize the script, they, uh, they, they internalize it as they would any other role that they might perform. And then we invite an improviser to come up on stage who doesn't know anything about the play, much like you don't know anything about the play, because the death of American theater is all about faults. <laughs> <laughs> so the lights come back up. Magical lying out. Good, I moved to North. 
West can stay under the construction long as it can please. <laughs> trying to maintain my temper right now. How do you feel about boxes? <laughs> boxes are great. I put my stuff in there when I move to the north. They help me. And there's a one. <laughs> I want to say this as delicately as possible because I know like we had our issues. Like I went to that bar that one time and I thought it was just gonna be like regular bingo, but it was like booby bingo and I didn't even know what that was, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> it wasn't awful. <laughs> and the solid colored sweaters too. Yeah, you're trying to control me. <laughs> human and as a partner more when I do this. Hello, Miss Patricia. I love your daughter. I'm sorry, you have a very synthetic closet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did she do to you? What did she do to you? Do you think I, it's people? I make my own clothes and, and I, it's really easy with a pattern I can show you. And of course, you're going to want to change your hair. Okay, and um, you may want to just walk me around. Give me the, give me the, give, give me the whole thing. Give me the, give me the whole thing. Give me the platinum pack. Give me the platinum pack. Tell me, tell me exactly what I need to be for you to love me and accept me as a part of your life. You could try on undergarments. You can mind how the other end and really affect the posture of the time. First of all, I feel like this. This kind of hunch is in brand, okay? <laughs> Nothing, all right? Number two, you know I like to feel free. <laughs> Beatnik chicks. God. <laughs> you gave the smoking reefer and reading Ginsburg would be fun for a day, but I think that you want something more complicated, some repression. Some rich subject, something that you can really grow into. Well, when you explain the entire policy, this is why I, I'm with you. Why are you doing this? Why are you telling me about our love? Just do it. Just be it. The fifties was a time of secrets and. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I know that you think that a housewife is just a pretty dress. But a housewife makes things work. If there is a wound, she dresses it. If there is a silence, she fills it. Well, um, I don't know if you're referring to yourself at this point, but I, I mean, I'm just like any other woman. I feel like you just proposed to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We don't shake a big stick. <laughs> we do it in a more indirect way. But in the end, we always get what we want. <laughs> really? Because I just want to be with you and I don't want to have these cryptic conversations. <laughs> and I haven't gotten that yet. And I still am not shaking a big stick around. <laughs> just my big heart. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing is that there's a trial period, so if anything ever doesn't work out, you're free to go, no questions asked. Uh, I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know why something wouldn't work out. That's something. Maybe because you're a distrustful person. I mean, what did, did my dossier tell you that? I, 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 how can you be any other way in a big city? I, you know, I, I don't have the best history. Uh, Identity fraud? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Depends on who you're talking to. <laughs> Online profiles? Didn't think that was against the law at all. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the function of the website. All your information just out there. It's not a secret. Is this, are you still talking about Kathy right now? Is that what you're 
Really? Okay. See, that's what people love about the SVO. <laughs> that's what they like about it? <laughs> There's less information. Hey, if, I, don't, I don't know what people don't want to know. I'm not trying to make any waves. I'm going to put a pot <laughs> and, and move right on through. A kind of privacy long since extinct. We can work together, Jeff. You know, I, I don't want to make things rough for you. It sounds like you it's, want things to go smoothly on your end. It's a nicer world to raise the children in. I feel like there's a lot of this going on. <laughs> <laughs> you do want kids, don't you? Uh, sure, sure, yeah. You ain't got to be talked about it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there more than that? Or? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, for many women, yeah, that becomes very important when they move to the SDO. Um, having children. Well, that's, that's fine. You know, that's important to me too. I, uh, I, I've always had dreams of having a little girl. You know, maybe we can make that happen with help from the SDO. Ryu, listen. Just listen. Birthday basis, huh? <laughs> Just listen to me for a second. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever gone out hiking for a day in the woods? And you come back feeling refreshed? Uh, no. <laughs> Hot and sweaty. You stand up straighter, don't you? Uh, you breathe more clearly? I guess in that scenario I would be. Everything seems better. That is until the feeling wears off. Is this still going on right now? <laughs> I feel like it is. So my question is, why do you ever come back? To the civilization? <laughs> I don't want to sleep. <laughs> I don't know if we're, if we're talking metaphors or if we're just talking about my actual hiking experiences. It's normally I come back and have a meal and I go to bed. Maybe a little glass of wine. <laughs> I love it! Absolutely. She's just going to put that on you and, and, and try to make you something that then maybe you're not. What a great idea. Wait a second. <laughs> Take your time. I know what you're going to say. Do you? It doesn't involve hiking at all. <laughs> you're going to say that we're a bunch of irony free androids. <laughs> this whole thing isn't going to work. And then what if they're all like us? No, I wasn't going to say any of that. I was uh, just going to try and get past my awful conversation that I had with Jeff. We're not going to be your best friends. We're going to come to your house for Tupperware parties. It's, it's still just going to be you and her, without all the stuff that makes it impossible for it to be you and her out here. What is going on out here? Can <laughs> <laughs> you be honest with me? Is that, is that, I feel like there is a lot of it this <laughs> and it applies with me and Kathy. You're a mixed race couple. <laughs> See that? I feel like that didn't apply that time. <laughs> the money goes a lot further in the SEO. It's adjusted for inflation. Deflation. Okay, good. Fine. Fine. I just don't want the focus to be on me and Kat. <laughs> You're the one that's always talking about the hours and, 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 and the work and, and the monotony of injecting goo into these trophy wives. You're not thinking. You're the best friend. Give it six months. Think of it as a vacation. Um. A vacation. Of your life. Vacation from life. 
you don't like it, you can always come back. I'm sure they love and love you. Well, yeah, I mean, if you put it that way, I haven't worked in art. Do you love your job? I do. I do love it. Do you love your life? This is going to involve hiking again? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love my life. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make things better. You know, for me and for Gabby. Do you love your life? <laughs> of course. That's why I married the bride. <laughs>